it might be boring, but it's really important to protest at the smaller Scientology orgs. And the reason for that is because these places are dying, but they're not gone yet. And the biggest bang for the buck that you can have as a protester against the evil human trafficking cult of Scientology, the biggest impact you can have is really by getting people to see that there is no hope. There is no hope for Scientology. There is no hope for any golden age of tech or any thing that David Miscavige thinks that he is doing that is going to be a game changer in terms of recruiting new people. It's not going to happen. But at places like Los Angeles and Clearwater, we might not have as much of an impact here as you could have in places like Austin, shout out to Selfless Self and Pearl Snappy, um, all the great auditors in Portland, Chicago, all these other areas. And San Francisco, um, all of these places that barely get any students in ever, that have a really hard time having enough staff to keep the doors open. All you have to do is remind them of their situation. You know, they all think that they're the only one. They are all, all told that there are great things happening in other orgs. That they are in some golden age of expansion. You know, David Miscavige told Ted Koppel, back in the early 90s or late 80s, whenever that interview was, that there were millions and millions of Scientologists worldwide. There weren't then, and there sure as hell aren't now. There might be 20,000. There might be a little bit more if you count those in name only. But it's dead in L.A., and it's dead in Clearwater. All the other places are beyond dead. I mean, they really have very, very few people. None of them are bringing in enough money to pay for staff and all the bills, keeping the lights on. So all you have to do is remind them that their org is dead but so are all the others. Because if L.A. is the best they got, they're in really bad shape. Now, I've been going out with uh, Eric Rader, a uh, great guy, BS Incinerator. And, you know, he's the one that really made this clear to me because he is an ex-Scientologist and I am not. Um... And what it, his point was that places like Big Blue here in Hollywood, these are the hardcore, super indoctrinated cult members. They're not just going to leave because somebody showed up with a sign. Now, eventually some of them will because people are leaving Scientology all the time, no matter what. Even if we do everything wrong, they will leave Scientology. Scientology does not have a future. But 
one thing if you've seen the streams with Eric and me or not is that I ask everybody that watches these videos please go to sptv.space an amazing resource for everybody in this battle and there are flyers there that you can print out and I ask you guys no matter where you are located on earth if you can put up one flyer a day seven a week space it out however you want and it could be anything it could be something you print up on your computer just say Scientology sucks or whatever um, direct them to sptv dot space because it's an, an incredible resource and what we need to do going forward is number one and this is coming from Eric I am plagiarizing him um, well not now because I'm I'm citing him but anyway we need to get more people involved in this one way or the other and just because you are hundreds of miles away from a Scientology location does not mean that you cannot get involved. Because the fact is, when people see a flyer up on a lamppost 500 miles from the nearest Scientology organization, they're going to notice it more than somebody that has been living next door to Scientology for 20 years. We can't really have an impact on those people. They already know Scientology's bullshit. And they kind of don't want to get in trouble with the cult. So a lot of them give us a little smile as they walk by or whatever, but they're not looking to get on Scientology's cameras being too supportive of us, if you know what I mean. But when you go into these other areas or where there are these small organizations that barely have anybody working there, and you put up flyers in that town, and not just right around the organization, because they will come and tear them down, but put them up in random spots kind of all over the place. And like I say, one a day on average, that's 365 a year in your community. That means you're definitely going to have 5,000 people looking at those. You might have 5,000 people seeing them every month. So take advantage of this amazing resource, sptv.space, and take advantage of this period that we're in. Because like Eric said, Anonymous was bigger than us, but it went away for the most part. And there's no guarantee that this group of protesters is going to stick around forever. We need to continually replenish our numbers. And we need to continuously put the word out. And we need to go after the small orgs. You know... In Scientology, they're not allowed to shut down an org. That's like a high crime. That's fine. If they don't shut it down, good. They can keep bleeding. If they do shut it down, then they have a PR mess both within and without Scientology, on the outside of Scientology. So, but especially within, it's a crushing blow to them to have to retreat. Now, everybody knows... Nobody's joining up, hardly. Everybody knows that the world is against them. So it's just a matter of keeping it up for a little while longer, replenishing our numbers, and putting out the word. And there is no resource like sptv.space. Because with that resource, people can find out what's up. They can join live streams all around the world, wherever they're happening. 
they can increase our views, our subscriber numbers, and all of that, so that then we have more of an impact on the internet and in real life. So please make sure you go to sptv sptv.space all the time. Keep going back over and over. And um and keep clicking on the live streams or other pages and download some flyers. Put them up in your area. Take pictures of them. Send them to us. Take pictures in famous areas. You know, maybe have your flyer hanging and you can see the Eiffel Tower in the background. Or you can see the St. Louis uh, Arch. What is that? The Gateway Arch, whatever. Take some pictures, you know, Golden Gate Bridge in the background and a Scientology flyer on a lamppost in the foreground. Take pictures all over the world. Send them in. And send them in to sptv.space as well. And, you know, we need to cheer each other up. We need to keep encouraging each other to make this happen. And we need to keep remembering Scientology is an evil cult. It's not just, oh, well, these people are practicing their weird religion. No. They infiltrate governments. They spy, harass, frame, and hurt critics. They abuse children. And they protect abusers within their ranks. And they don't allow their members to report serious crimes committed by other members. This is no joke, people. This needs to be stopped, and we are doing it. They're already on their last legs, but they have a war chest that can keep them going for a long time. So we need to win the PR battle. And the best way to do that is by showing that they are failing, because they are. Scientology, you are failing. Ha ha.